welcome to the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Welcome to the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking Cinco de Mayo. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. Today I have with me my special friend, Curtis Rose. Curtis, come on Hi, over here. Julie. Thanks for having me back. It's so good to have you. Hi. We have a good time when we cook together. We do. We might have to make you Fine. a permanent permanent member of I'll this. be here for it. All right. Curtis is a premier realtor here in Richmond, Kentucky, and he is an amazing, amazing guy when it comes to that. What, what do you think, Curtis? We're I'm, in a house that you have listed yep, right now. and you and Gary built it. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath, 2,000 square foot of two stories. Mm-hmm. Open floor plan downstairs. Huge. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Just granite beautiful. all throughout. Yeah, and you know what? I um, uh, Bluegrass, Marble, and Granite are our sponsors, and oh my gosh, I'm gonna have, Love I'm, them. oh, this counter. Yes. They let me choose the slab, and there's a vein of color running through, just beautiful. There's tile in the shower upstairs, the master bedroom and closet, did which is not a dressing room. Did you get from there, too? No, no, uh, no, I did not, because I don't think they do tile, but we did check into doing something wild, and, and uh, we're working on something that we might show later in another house. That's it's exciting. Down. But this countertop is amazing. Go check them out there in Richmond, Kentucky, bluegrass, granite, and um, marble. Mm -hmm. I love them. So, Curtis, are you uh, all about Mexican food like I am? I am. I love Mexican food. It's actually my favorite food that there is. Mine, too. <laughs> See, I know. I think that you're uh, my brother from another mother. Yeah. Yeah, so I sure. think so. So, yep. Well, to get started, what we're going to cook today, first we're going to cook um, my famous guacamole. Yeah, it's really, really good. Then I made my own fajita seasoning. We're going to show you how to do that. So fast, so easy. Throw in what you got. We're going to make sheet pan shrimp fajitas. Sounds delicious. And then we're going to do something called watermelon agua fresca. I love watermelon. Mm, it's going to be so good. So let's get started here. So today we're going to make a bunch of wonderful food for Cinco de Mayo. I love Cinco de Mayo, don't mm -hmm. you, Curtis? We are going to be making the most fabulous shrimp on, on a sheet pan. Have you ever cooked that shrimp fajitas on a sheet pan? No, but talk I love about fast and easy, and that's what we're fajitas. all. I know, good. Yes. <laughs> that's what we're all about on the Julie Tussie Show. Fabulous cooking <laughs> is fast and easy and then giving you our original recipes and making them fit and fabulous. What I've noticed though is a lot of my food is fit and fabulous, but it's this so fabulous. This is definitely fit and fabulous. Yes, yes. So I've lost 24 pounds doing this. You look I want to lose like 572 more. Me too. <laughs> but when you're 30 as long as I am. Together. Yeah, okay, let's do it. So we're gonna make the sheet pan shrimp fajitas. I have um, created my own recipe for the seasoning, which is fajita seasoning. We're gonna make that. We're gonna make guacamole. It's my famous guacamole because okay. it's amazing. And then Curtis, I know you love watermelon like I do. Yes. There's a really popular drink in Mexico that they sell everywhere and people drink it all the time and it is called watermelon agua fresca. We're gonna make all that today. That sounds good. I know. I'm ready. So first off we've got, we're gonna start with our guacamole. Um, you take two avocados. Do you do, av do you cut avocados or eat them much, Curtis? I don't. Okay, so when you have an avocado, first of all, if you wanna know if it's ripe, you just peel this little seed out and you can see the color. If it's dark brown, see it's like oh, a nice green. green. Yeah. That's, and it's soft to touch, but not too soft, it's perfect. And if it's dark brown, it's too far gone. It's not gonna taste as good. Huh. Yeah, Did not see, that. see all the fancy things you're gonna learn? Yes. <laughs> so you cut it in half, like thus, you run your knife around it and you twist it apart like, isn't that beautiful? Then you take, now be careful doing this, but you actually lay your knife on the seed, kind of wedge it down in there carefully, and you can twist the pit right out, okay? <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I'm making lots of noise here today. Now there's a little bit of a brown spot in here, so I'm gonna throw that away. And can you see this bowl? Let me put this closer, because I don't think you can see what I'm doing. Um, then you just spoon the avocado out like that, okay? Get all of that delicious avocado out. Now, I wanna show you one more trick before I finish the avocados because if you're like me, I eat half avocado or a whole avocado every three days. I love it. Yeah. I live on it. I'll just to eat it right out of the shell. But if you want to make slices, you simply do this. Put your knife in and do slices. You can dice it the other way too. 
So I'm learning all things. <laughs> all about how to cook <laughs> Well, I have so many young girls that contact me and say, would you please teach me how to cook? So I'm trying to incorporate that in the show. Kind of give you some fab facts and some fabulous hacks. Okay. So we've got one avocado in there. And that I love looks... that there's so much color here. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm trying color. to celebrate. <laughs> trying to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. But actually, Curtis, that's a really good point because if you want to be healthy, you need to incorporate all colors, purple, red, yellow, green, into your diet and eat lots of um, leafy greens to, yeah. to be healthy. And I'm going to tell you something that I've never spoken about before on television. Onions, peppers, hot peppers, and tomatoes are anti-cancer foods. Really? Yes, if you eat them, they say your chances of getting cancer lower. So they're so good for your body. Thus maybe why I love Mexican food yep. so much because that's all I eat just about, you know, I just just love Mexican food. And you can actually eat it and lose weight. I've done it. So Okay, so we got that. Fit and now, fabulous. Of course yep, can. fit and fabulous. <laughs> We're getting fitter and fabulouser every day. Yep. <laughs> so then you want to do this and Curtis, I'll probably let you go over and smash these, but you simply take a fork and you smash them down. Okay. So if you don't mind smashing them over there, thank that. you. The next thing I'm going to do is dice an onion. And we showed, I'm showing you, you just cut off the ends. Now, <laughs> the big chefs, they say to go ahead and leave this on while you're cutting, and it, it'll make your eyes water less. But we're just doing a half onion, so I'm just going to cut it off and get it off there. Tussie Homes, located in the heart of Kentucky, is known for their excellence and quality and craftsmanship. These original design homes are exactly what you and your family are looking for. To see a Tussie home, call Curtis Rose of Keller Williams at 859-358-9304. You can follow us on Facebook to see exclusive photos and projects. Tussie Homes, welcome home. Hey, this is Julie. If you're enjoying the music on the program that you're hearing today, I want you to have your own copy. It's a CD that Gary and I wrote and recorded called And Dance. It's Christian blues and it's amazing. Get your own copy today at cdbaby.com forward slash CD forward slash Julie Tussie 4. Again, that's cdbaby.com slash CD slash Julie Tussie 4. Stephanie Wells, master stylist at Color Creation Salon in Richmond, Kentucky, specializes in custom hair color and precision cutting. Make your appointment with Stephanie today. Hair by Steph Wells. Beautiful hair they won't forget. Honey, let's go shopping at Bluegrass Marble and Granite. All right, but I really don't want to miss the game today. Bluegrass Marble and Granite of Richmond is Madison County's only local fabrication shop for granite, marble, quartz, and Dacton countertops. Visit our showroom to view full slabs of natural stone and schedule a free in-home estimate. Order now and receive a free Kentucky-shaped marble cutting board. Always have your drink on a rock with Bluegrass Marble and Granite. Go get! Peel this off. Now, I'm going to dice this onion fine because um, I don't like big, big chunks of onion in my guacamole. In some foods, I like lots of onion, like big chunks, and that, that's the time to do that. But So you just do really little teeny slices on your onion like this, but I do like lots of onion. Ooh, looks good. All right, and then you do fine slicing like this. Can you see it's almost minced, it's so fine. So you can control how big your chunks are in all your cooking. And about that much. I don't want it to be too, too much onion, so let's set that aside. Now the next thing that I do is I chop up, I like to get a nice big tomato. My guacamole could be like half tomato, <laughs> so I love it. But these are my favorite tomatoes, they are called Kumato tomato. 
or Kumato tomato, whichever you prefer. But I love these. They're, a lot of times they're quite brown, but they're really flavorful. I like to take them and cut them in half or thick slices, put cheese on them, put them under the broiler for lunch. Fantastic. So you just cut your tomato in half, just like the onion. I cut the little teeny uh, stem part out and I slice it like this. Now my tomato, I don't do it so fine. I like big tomato. You can put in whatever you want. So I'm gonna do about three of these. The trick here is to have a sharp knife and if you need a serrated knife would work even better. I keep my knives very sharp. I sharpen them every time I cook with them. Ooh, Curtis, how's that going? It is smash. Oh man, you are a good smasher. We've been smashing a lot of things Ooh. on the Julie Tussie yeah, Show Fabulous have. Cooking. <laughs> it's been amazing. Thank you. Ooh, that looks great. That's so good. <laughs> so here I've got my onions finely diced, Curtis, and we already showed you how to do that. Yep. And my tomato. My Kumato Tomato. So Curtis, what do you do for Cinco de Mayo? Do you just stay home or you go out and party or what I do you do? I drink a lot. <laughs> oh no. Because <laughs> that is what you're supposed to do on Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Cinco de Mayo is about Not party. Not so fit and fabulous, but <laughs> nope. it's fun. Now I, fun and fabulous. I don't drink, but I even have a lot of fun. I think I'm one of those people that if I drank alcohol, mm -hmm. it could be dangerous. Oh yeah. You know, the we personality. Have the same personality. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Say the personality is already big. Go big or go home. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so I'm going to put this in. Now, you don't have to use as many vegetables or you could use more avocado, but I, I do everything I can to get more fruits and vegetables in my body because yep. I just don't naturally like wake up and go, oh, I just want vegetables and a yeah. apple. <laughs> it's just Neither. not me. You know what I mean? I want biscuits and so. gravy when I wake up. <laughs> Right? I do like a lot of eggs. Let me hand those to you, sweet. Thank you. Ooh, okay. So before we do that, I, um, I'm going to put a jalapeno in here. Now, if you leave the seeds in your jalapeno, they're hotter in the membrane. So if you want it to be milder, you take the membrane out and you take the seeds out of your jalapeno. So you can actually eat the seeds. Oh yeah, you can dice it. the whole thing like that if you want it nice and spicy. Didn't One, that. And another thing you need to know, because we're going to be making a fantastic dressing. <gasps> I didn't tell you about that. My own jalapeno ranch dressing to go okay. on. Ooh, so good. So when you buy jalapenos, when they're nice and smooth and firm, that is going to be mild. Okay. Or it should be. When you go to the store and you see jalapenos that look a little wrinkly and they have these, can you see that line? See that line? That means they're hot. Because the I older they get, that. the hotter they get. See, I so, just thought that that would be like done. Like, yeah, like that's ready to go expired. in the garbage. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Nope. Okay, so I just take my jalapenos, um, cut them in half just like that. Now, I like to wear gloves for this, especially if I'm doing more than one because you can get the oil under your fingernail yeah. bed, you touch your eye, we got problems. But since we're just doing this today, um, and then I just take the seeds. I usually do this over the sink. Do you take the seeds out? I'm going to take the seeds out. Do you like hot food? I do, but my family, they're, they can't eat hot food like me, so I'm going to take the seeds out, basically. So yeah. I'm going to leave a little bit. I'm going <laughs> to leave a little bit in there because... Shh, shh, don't tell anybody. Don't tell. I'm the one who lives on the guacamole, you know what I mean? Yep. Now, I don't know if you guys knew this, but you can actually make toast and just smash the avocado and put it on toast with salt and pepper and butter. Yep. Oh, so good. You can also put guacamole in a... I call it a... Um, uh, a veggie, veggie melt, I call it. And it's like making a grilled cheese, put some thin cucumber on it, thin tomato, and a layer of guacamole. Yeah. Fry that baby up. Everyone mm. said, you were talking about guacamole on toast. Everyone has been saying everything but the bagel is a new se seasoning that's out. Yes, yes. And have you tried that? I have, and it's good. It's Do like you love it? dried onions. I don't love it yet, but I like it a lot. But it's got seeds in it and dried onions. It's actually pretty good. You know what it reminds me of, Curtis? What? Have you ever gotten a New York bagel that's like an everything bagel? It's kind of like an onion it. flavor to me. Okay, yeah, so for sure this jalapeno, kind of finer. Um, you get too big of a bite and you got a hot one in there, you could have tr trouble. Mm. <laughs> so.
Stephanie Wells, master stylist at Color Creation Salon in Richmond, Kentucky, specializes in custom hair color and precision cutting. Make your appointment today. Beautiful hair they won't forget. Tussie Homes, located in the heart of Kentucky, is known for their excellence in quality and craftsmanship. These original design homes are exactly what you and your family are looking for. To see a Tussie home, call Curtis Rose of Keller Williams at 859-358-9304. You can follow us on Facebook to see exclusive photos and projects. Tussie Homes, welcome home. Hey, this is Julie Tussie. I want to invite you to listen to my podcast, The Julie Tussie Show. It's a lifestyle podcast for women. I'm also known as the Big Blonde Baby, and I like to bring you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. Yes, with me, no topic is off limits, but in this unpredictable and exciting show, I like to focus on women's health, fitness, fashion, current events, and women's lifestyles. This edgy, funny, and informative podcast is just what you need to quote unquote live your life to the fullest. Find me on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and iTunes. The Julie Tussie Show podcast. You're going to love it. The music on this program is off a CD that Gary and I made called And Dance. It's Christian Blues, and we'd love for you to have it. You can get it at cdbaby.com forward slash CD forward slash Julie Tussie 4. Now, I'll probably take this home after the show and, like, load it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so depending how you like it, buy your jalapenos. You know what I do, Curtis? Um, like the dressing we're going to make, I like it to be a medium. So I buy my jalapenos and let them sit in my fridge for about a week. Okay? Oh. So that it gets spicier. Yes, yeah, so it gets spicier for me. Because okay. I've had trouble where it tastes like jalapeno, but there's no heat. And I want some heat. Yeah. I want some heat. We could throw some chili powder or chili... Uh, paste something in there if we needed to but all right doesn't this look My great too is cayenne pepper you know that would be a good thing mm -hmm. that would be a great thing now we're going to take fresh cilantro i love this stuff oh my yeah. gosh it smells good oh i love just going to cut off i'm going to do about a quarter cup for this and then i just take it and i should probably do my chef thing no chef shish no chef shish on the julie tussie show fabulous cooking when we need it we'll call the <laughs> chefs right because we're all about some chef shish when we yeah. need it. Okay. Wow. Aren't you impressed? Look at me. Yeah. Chocolate. Wow. This is like the first time I ever did this. <laughs> Maybe we have to get some more chef shish on here. <laughs> and there next, we go. Next stop, cook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bougie home cooker. Yeah. Okay. That's what I am. All right. Now we're going to put some salt in here. Generous. Tastes fantastic, Curtis. I don't like black pepper very much, do you? I love it. And some people just love it, and I, I don't like it in my food. So you can put black pepper in here. I just you don't, don't prefer to. And last of all, a lime. Now, these limes, it's out of season, mm -hmm. and this is kind of um, hard. So to get a lot of juice out of it, you put it on a board and you roll it. My assistant, Nancy, reminded me that I could do this. <laughs> so I was like, these are too hard. So you can see. Look at that. Look at that ring motion. See on yes. camera. Woo! <laughs> then I cut it in half. And Curtis, you want to just give it a really good squeeze over the... Wow, wow you're amazing. That's a lot of juice. Woo, that was amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, Curtis, if you'll take those yeah. chips and put them in the microwave for 30 seconds. I just take tortilla chips and I like to serve Never them warm. Heard. They're so much better warm. Oh my goodness. But look at this decadent, colorful, beautiful, flavorful, famous guacamole. You can see why it's famous yeah. now, can't you, Curtis? Uh, I actually, okay, I'm going to confess the truth. You know, I'm always trying to lose weight, so I'll count out X amount of chips, an ounce of chips. Uh -huh. And I will eat this and chips for lunch, and it is so filling because there's so many healthy fats in avocado that are good for your heart. And there you have it. Let's get those chips. I want to try, I want to taste this, don't you? Ooh, gonna be good. All right, Curtis, are you ready to give it the taste test? Confession. Uh, true confession. I've never had guacamole. 
<laughs> we can edit. <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> my that God. is so good. It's fantastic, I wish you all could taste this because oh my goodness. We'll be right back after this to make those sheet pan shrimp fajitas. Mm, mm. So good. Now that we have our guacamole made, we are going to make my fabulous fajita uh, seasoning. I was gonna say recipe. <laughs> Curtis, that look at this. Colorful. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna tell you what's in here. You know, it's, it's not really hard to make your own seasoning and then you can buy more organic products and get a really good, a really good product that's healthy and uh -huh. fit. Fit and fabulous, darling. Fit and fabulous. So Curtis is gonna read what's in this beautiful fajita, fajita seasoning for you. We have <laughs> a beautiful mixture of four tablespoons of chili powder, two, tables, two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of paprika, two teaspoons of brown sugar, one teaspoon of ground black pepper, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of oregano, one tablespoon of ground mm -hmm. cumin, and one fourth to one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper depending on how hot you want it exactly and then one optional tablespoon of cornstarch that's right and what the cornstarch will do Curtis is you know how when you put the packages from the store Tussie Homes located in the heart of Kentucky is known for their excellence and quality and craftsmanship these original design homes are exactly what you and your family are looking for to see a Tussie home call Curtis Rose of Keller Williams at 859 358-9304. You can follow us on Facebook to see exclusive photos and projects. Tussie Homes, welcome home. Hey, this is Julie Tussie. I want to invite you to listen to my podcast, The Julie Tussie Show. It's a lifestyle podcast for women. I'm also known as the Big Blonde Baby, and I like to bring you the fastest, funniest, most informative 30 minutes of your life. Yes, with me, no topic is off limits, but in this unpredictable and exciting show, I like to focus on women's health, fitness, fashion, current events, and women's lifestyles. This edgy, funny, and informative podcast is just what you need to quote unquote, live your life to the fullest. Find me on iHeartRadio, Spreaker, and iTunes, the Julie Tussie Show podcast. You're going to love it. The music on this program is off a CD that Gary and I made called And Dance. It's Christian blues, and we'd love for you to have it. You can get it at cdbaby.com forward slash CD forward slash Julie Tussie 4. Honey, let's go shopping at Bluegrass Marble and Granite. All right, but I really don't want to miss the game today. Bluegrass Marble and Granite of Richmond is Madison County's only local fabrication shop for granite, marble, quartz, and Dacton countertops. Visit our showroom to view full slabs of natural stone and schedule a free in-home estimate. Order now and receive a free Kentucky-shaped marble cutting board. Always have your drink on a rock with Bluegrass Marble and Granite. Go get your meat in a pan and you're making fajitas and it gets like a gravy uh -huh. that's what'll happen I did not put it in for today because in the oven I really don't need it mm -hmm. but in a pan if I was putting it in a pan I would put it in there so you can make this and then you seal it and you put it in your cupboard and you can keep it for a very long time okay. all right so we're gonna stir this up uh oh sugar's gotten hard it's that brown sugar yeah I'll set that off and let Miss Nancy help me <laughs> before we do the rest all right, see, and there you have it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. We'll smash that, that brown sugar. These sheet pan shrimp fajitas are amazing, Curtis. So I am, I am cutting up peppers and I cut up several kinds. This is a poblano pepper. Have you ever had a poblano pepper? I've never pepper? seen one. They're kind of, they can be a little toasty, but not really. They're really flavorful. They're really good diced in um, potatoes. Yeah. With fried potatoes, like we talked about in the other episode. And, um, I just love them. They're really good flavor. I've had them be hot once. Now at a Mexican restaurant, they will take the, this pepper and take it and stuff it with cheese. 
<laughs> dip it in something and deep fry it. Yeah. It's called a chili relleno. Well, really, that doesn't really seem good. very fit no. to deep fry it. No, brother. That's why I only get them <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be baking our, our stuff today. Um, we do give the original recipes for some great food, though, so yeah. we don't have to do everything, but we try. We try to be healthy. All right, so this is the poblano pepper. You could, you could put jalapeno also or, or alternate the two in. So what I've done is we have cut up, and you can see this, we have cut up red pepper, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, poblano pepper, onions. You can use any color that you like. You can put tomatoes in it if you want. And now, if you wouldn't mind, Curtis, we're going to put shrimp in here. Shrimp. Curtis is gloved up because he's going to stir this up for us. Ready? Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're only going to do like a pound and a quarter it calls for, so we're going to do about... What? Yeah, I kind, of, I kind of like shrimp. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got that in. And then we're going to put our seasoning on top. And you basically just season it to taste. Um, we'll start with about that much and see how it tastes. Get in oh, here? Yeah, let's toss that. So colorful. Mm. Now, let me put a little oil in it too. All right, that's a little avocado oil. Oh, that looks so beautiful, doesn't it? It does. And you told me last show, I can't remember, why do you use avocado oil? I use avocado oil because it's so healthy for your body and your heart. All right, meanwhile, I'm going to put a little oil on our cookie sheet. This looks so good. Oh, you're doing a good job Yay. there. Thank you, Curtis. Now, there if you don't care, let's pour that right on here. Scraper out for me. Here we go. All right, and if you don't mind, since you have the gloves, spread that right where it needs to go. <laughs> So you spread it evenly over the pan, and then we're going to put it in a 400 degree oven for 9 to 10 minutes, and it is going to be done. That was quick. Yeah, I'm talking <laughs> fast and easy right here on Fabulous Cooking. Thank you so much for watching the Julie Tussie Show Fabulous Cooking with Cinco de Mayo Richmond Style. To see part two, catch it on episode five. If life is my oyster, darling, pass the hot sauce.